Tonight, it's Halloween season in Old Alabama Town, getting into the spirit, hosting the haunting of Old Alabama Town tonight and tomorrow night. And there will be some ghosts out and about. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis is live there this morning. Bethany, things are going to get spooky soon. Yeah, you know, you might want to know, parents may want to know, this is considered to be a, a PG-13 event. So just keep that in consideration if you're thinking about bringing your kids. Also know that every story that's going to be told here over the next two nights is 100% true. Collier Neely is the executive director of the Landmarks Foundation who operates Old Alabama Town. Explain this event, the haunting of Old Alabama Town. How will it go? Yeah, so we've uh, collected true stories from all the buildings here in Old Alabama Town, and you're going to have an opportunity to take a tour, walk through Old Alabama Town, see it at night, see it in a different different light for sure, but then learn some stories about the you know, tragedy of, of people who actually lived in Montgomery. We'd say this is a PG-13 mm -hmm. event. This is not like the scary, creepy, haunted house type event, but we are going to hear some things that you may not want your younger kids to know about. Yeah, right. So, you know, there's a story about a guy riding a horse who is thrown off the horse, lands on a on a fence post, or stories like that. But there's some comedy in there too, so that's why we keep it at PG-13 because they're sad, they're scary. There's a little comedy again, but it's it's a it's a good time. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Go over all the dates and the times, things we need to know. Yeah, so it's running tonight and tomorrow night, uh, from 6:30 to about 8:30. There's tours every 30 minutes. You can get your uh, tickets online uh, if you follow our social media through Facebook through. Uh, through Instagram, you can get your tickets there. All right, well, yeah. you're gonna stick around because this morning we're gonna get a little taste of yes. Alabama's haunted history. Just a little sneak peek. Collier's gonna already, he's actually already shared a few stories with me. We'll share those with you here in about 30 minutes or so, so you can get an idea of exactly what we're dealing with, the haunting of old Alabama town. All right, Bethany, I, I don't know how you feel about those stories because I know spooky isn't your thing, so I'm sure he'll keep it very PG for us a little bit later on. <laughs> I've already warned him. Yeah, this is not my thing. And I've never considered old Alabama town really to be very spooky or creepy. But being here in the dark and hearing some of these stories, well, makes me just think a little bit more about it. <laughs> All right, Bethany. Well, if spooky is your thing. Those tickets are available for $25. We have a link on how you can purchase them. WSFA.com.